According to NASA, there are more than 2,000 satellites circling the globe. All of them send signals to and from the Earth. But there had to be a first, and there wasn't much to it. On August 12, 1960, NASA launched a reflective balloon known as Echo-1 into space, with the goal of bouncing audio and video signals around the world. But American scientists have been developing a man-made space marvel, the first Earth satellite. Russia beat the U.S. to space with Sputnik in 1957, but Echo-1 would be the first man-made satellite to reflect a signal from Earth right back to it. Standing 10 stories tall, the entire satellite weighed only 130 pounds because of its lightweight mylar polyester coating. Researchers thought a giant reflective balloon would be the easiest device to bounce a signal off. They got to test that theory soon after launching it into the sky on August 12th, 1960. Once in the sky, the balloon expanded due to inflatable chemicals inside. Shortly after getting in position, researchers set up the first voice recording to be reflected back down across the country. This call will be bounced off a man-made satellite. If it works, it will be the first time voice has traveled from the Earth up to a man-made moon and back to Earth again. This is President Eisenhower speaking. It is a great personal satisfaction to participate in this first experiment in communication. President Eisenhower's voice was picked up loud and clear, making Echo a success. The satellite spent nearly eight more years in the sky, eventually sending the first video signal via satellite as well. Echo showed that the U.S. was serious about space travel while laying the groundwork for the communications web we enjoy today.